You love to draw with natural charcoal but ran out of supply? Again? Well, in this tutorial I will show you how to turn ordinary wood into super fine drawing charcoal. Hey everybody, welcome back to John Me To Your Art. In this video I will show you a super easy way to make your own drawing charcoal in just three steps. I know, I know, you've got no time, so let's get started right away with step number one. Go outside. This here is the so-called nature. Charcoal is in a special way burnt wood. So all we need is to find a bush or a tree with some even and straight twigs. You can use wood from willow, poplar, linden trees or even wine. In this tutorial I'm looking for willow. You can find it especially near water. After we cut some nice straight sticks, we need to get rid of the bark with a sharp knife. When the job is done, we dry our peeled sticks for approximately 3 days. Step number 2. Now we need our dried and peeled wooden sticks, aluminum foil, and our last guest is a empty can. This one here was filled before with some delicious kidney beans. Then we put our sticks into the can and wrapping the opening with foil. After we done that, we just have to put a single hole into the foil. One is enough. And we are done with our preparation. Step 3. This is the fun part, but be careful, it's getting really hot. Make a nice campfire and then place the can with the sticks at the edge of it. Or put it on your grill after you're finished with your barbecue. The process that starts now is called pyrolysis. The wood will heat up and all organic substances will vaporize and leave the can through the hole. Inside the can there is no more oxygen, so the wood doesn't burn to ash. It chars and keeps the shape. When the process starts, you will see some smoke getting out of the hole of the can. And after a while, the smoke ignites to a flame. This just takes a few minutes. The beauty of this technique is we know exactly when the process is done and our charcoal is ready. It's time to get our can out of the fire when no more flames or smoke coming out. Then you have to take the can out of the fire and let it cool off. So let's see what our product look like. Welcome back to John Meteor's headquarter. Let's see what we've got. What's that? Oh, look at this amazing piece of charcoal. Okay, okay. This one here is for my barbecue. This one here is the right can. Let's see if our experiment worked out well and look at this nice sticks of charcoal and here's a little proof that you can use it for your drawing i mean this is really good stuff what i love about natural charcoal is it blends very well with a nice and smooth lay down and it can be easily erased for portraits I use natural charcoal for brighter values in combination with compressed charcoal so we can get rich artworks with a lot of contrast like this one. And that's it. End of tutorial. If you like it, don't miss my other videos. Take care and see you soon to a new witty.